Welcome, this is our Algebra 2 Quadratic Functions uh, Unit. Lesson number one, Quadratic Function Review. And uh, if this is your first time watching our videos, please uh, give a like if you find it helpful and subscribe to the channel if you have not, if you uh, feel that you want to watch some more of these things that are helpful in learning math. So, uh, our first question is, without the use of a calculator, evaluate each of the following quadratic functions for the specific input values. Well, again, uh, what makes this quadratic means it really is because the uh, exponents here, the polynomial functions, and uh, the highest exponents too. So, now all we're really doing for this, for this question is really popping in numbers in for each of the functions. So, we see here for this one, for note for A, we're just going to pop in the 5 for g of 5, so 5 squared minus 9 is 25 minus 9, which is going to be 16. And for g of negative 3, we have, let's see, we have plug in negative 3 squared minus 9. We get 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. Okay. For part b, f of x equals negative 2x squared plus 8x. We're going to plug in the 3 here, so negative 2 times 3 squared plus 8 times 3, which will give us negative 2 times 9 plus 24. So it's really 18 plus 24. Oh, sorry, negative 18 plus 24. I'm sorry, don't, don't forget the negative there. I uh, guess it's really super important because signs do matter. And negative 18 plus 24, uh, I believe, is just going to be just positive 6. For f of negative 1, we have negative 2. Plug in negative 1, so negative 1 squared, plus 8 times negative 1. And we have negative 2 times 1. And negative 1 times 8 is negative 8. So negative 2 minus 8 is equal to negative 10. So be really careful about the signs. And we'll see in this case, once we, once you got to keep in mind you're squaring a negative number, uh, the whole thing, you're going to get a positive result. Okay, so be very careful with that. So a lot of times when people type in the calculator, they forget to put the, the negative number in parentheses when squaring. And that does matter. So, h of x is 0 squared minus 2x plus 6, and we're plugging in 0 here. So, we have 0 squared minus 2 times 0, 0 plus 6. That means we have 0 minus 0 plus 6 is equal to 6. The nice thing is that if you're, if you're plugging in a 0, your answer will just be the constant. So, that's going to be the, uh, the number at the end. So, yes, so that's the 6. And finally, h of negative 2 for this question, we have negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2 plus 6. And we get 4, because negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And we see this here, plus another 4, plus 6 is equal to 14. Okay. So, yeah, just keep in mind that when you're squaring, you're squaring the whole number. Put everything in parentheses. That's what probably the easiest thing to, work, to look at in this case. Question number two, which of the following resists the y-intercept of the graph of the quadratic function? y equals 2x squared minus 7x plus 9. And the hint is that the y-intercept of the graph always occurs when x equals 0. Well, we're going to solve for y when x equals 0. So we plug in 0 for x. And we said in this case that whenever we plug in 0, we always get the constant at the end. So we get y is equal to... 9. So the y the y intercept usually for polynomial is just be the constant by itself. Always the constant by itself though. So all right, so that'll be choice four. For a particular quadratic function, the lean coefficient is negative, and the function has a turning point whose coordinates are negative 3, comma 14. Which the following must be the range of this quadratic? Well, it all depends upon how we know the facing of the parabola. So by facing, is it facing up or down? How we know what direction the parabola is facing? Everything depends on the a value or the lean coefficient. 
when the a value is greater than zero, positive, the parabola is facing upwards. This will mean that the vertex will be the lowest point for the parabola. When a, val a value is negative, the parabola is facing downwards. This means the vertex will be the highest point of the parabola. And now, again, a value is the number multiplying the x squared. That's what we call the lean coefficient now. Let's go back to our question. We see here that the a value is negative, lean coefficient is negative, which means the parabola will be facing downwards. So like this. And the turning point with the vertex, this point right here where the graph turns, is going to be negative 3, comma 14. Well, the range talks about, for, for previous lessons we talked about, about functions, is going to be the uh, all the values that the y will be be able to hit. And so here we see that the highest point, the highest point here is 14, because the range talks about the y values. And so therefore, the highest point is 14, all the values of y will be 14 or less. So we see here that our range will be y is less than or equal to 14, again, because the parabola faces downwards. Okay. A parabola has one x-intercept of x equals neg 2 and axis symmetry of x equals 4, which the following represents its other x-intercept. Think about how far the given x-intercept x is away from the, from the axis. So let's talk about the axis symmetry then. The axis symmetry is a line of reflection that divides the parabola in half. It means the left side of the parabola will be exactly the same shape as the right side. So <clears throat> if we have a parabola looking like this, our axis symmetry will be going down the middle. And the left side and right side are the same. Now, if we have one point here on its opposite side, it will be the same exact distance. From the axis symmetry. And so if we know what the roots, go back to the question then, if we know what the x-intercepts is negative 2, so it's kind of sketches here, if our, one of x-intercepts is negative 2, x-intercepts going to be a root or really in this case the point here at negative 2, that's where the graph is going to cross the x-axis, and the axis symmetry is 4, one, two, three, four. Draw our axis symmetry down this way. That will mean, in this case, the other points on this graph will be equal distance away. And we'll see here that the distance, if this x equals four, x equals four, we'll see the distance from here, from neg two to four, will be six. So we're looking for a distance of six away here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, six units away here will be, in this case, x is equal to 10. That'll be the other point, because the distance should be the same, okay? There's six away, both points will be six away from the x-axis, all right? So the answer is not x was six, but the x value will be, in this case, 10 choice two. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this will end our uh, first video for our algebra two quadratic functions, lesson number one, quadratic function review. So uh, if, you guys, if you guys found this helpful, please give it a like and also leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. Make sure to catch our next video uh, as we go on to the next type of questions where we'll probably do some more graphing in this case. Thanks so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Take care. We'll see you in the next video.